Purple Bandidos, and welcome to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. I'm Purple Rodri. We have finally awakened, and as you can see, this little bunny is telling us to let's play. So let's go ahead and do that. It seems like we're gonna have to chase it down. Come on, jump with A. I'm almost gonna get him. I think I'm gonna do it. It's kind of strange for me to be playing this because I haven't been used to doing a platformer in a while, so it's gonna take a little getting used to. You guys may be asking now, have I played this game before? And I have actually played a little bit of it, but not fully completed it so I'm gonna be needing your help in order to do it let's play hide-and-seek if you catch all of us we'll tell you about where you are and I I think I know where we are we seem to be on a big circly object that takes us in circles let's go ahead and find where the heck these bunnies are they're hiding from us somewhere here and I, I intend to find them I am no turtle I am a rabbit where where okay I don't know where they went. They're hiding from me somewhere in this location. I think there's one hiding in this patch of grass, if I'm correct. Yes, it just ran off. Let's go ahead and get this Playboy Bunny. That's what they look like to me for some reason. I don't know why exactly, but that's what they're looking like. Come on, let, let me go ahead and jump over there. Uh, we do have some cool moves in this game. I don't know all of them. I know basic ones like the long jump are still in this game. And I know that soon enough, we're actually gonna learn another one. So we caught the first one, or is that the one we were supposed to catch? Oh, I knew I should have hidden in the crater. I'm guessing another one of these is hiding somewhere in this crater then. Let me go ahead and look around. See how many of these craters there are exactly. Oh, there is a ton. There we go. We found them. And falling in the crater brings us back to the game. Brings us back to this little uh, earth looking thing. I actually don't know what this is. I think it is a mini planet. Um, and these rabbits are really freaking fast. You think we could dive, but I, I don't know how to do that. So I'm just going to run behind them. And hope that Mario can speed up a little bit. And hope that we can catch it! Got it! Second one! You caught me! Oh, if only I'd hit it in the pipe! Alright, there's one more left, and I guess they're giving us hints, so let's go look for the last one, which is in the pipe, so we can continue our adventure. This is going to be a very, very fun adventure for us. I'm definitely going to need your your guys' help, because I don't know what I'm going to be doing. It's going to be getting pretty tricky, and I just hope that everything uh, works out. Now, come on, get over here! It's the little yellow one, which is the last one, and I think just by running behind it, you're able to catch it, and it doesn't, you know, go much faster. There we go! I can't believe I let myself get caught! Wow, you caught all of us! Maybe you really can help, Mama! Some weird looking building just popped up. It says Mama's waiting up above. Please help her with whatever she asks. I hope Mama's not asking me for me to be making her some breakfast, or I'm gonna be a little mad here. I think if anything, Mama should be cooking it for me. All right, let's go ahead and talk to Mama. I've been watching you from here. This place is called the Gateway to the Starry Sky. My name is Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. To save your special one, you'll need the power to travel through space. Hmm. <laughs> Luma can give you this power. I will entrust you with his care. Our fists are glowing and it seems like we have got the ability to spin now. You think Mario would have had it already, but I guess it takes Mama to teach us how to spin. Disaster has struck us, just as it has visited you. With Luma, I hope you can rescue the grand stars. May the stars shine down on you. And may the odds be ever in your favor, too, uh, Rosalina. She's just some ghost or something, it seems like. And she is disappearing from our view. Where the heck are we going now? She can spin into things that look breakable. You can even spin enemies to stun them. And we have gotten our spin ability, which is gonna allow us to break stuff. That is fantastic. I never knew that spinning would allow me to break things. I think I'm gonna spin a little bit right now and see if I can break this chair I'm sitting on. 
<laughs> we're landing on a bunch of planets. Uh, this is pretty dang cool. Hi there, good to see you. I have some bad news though. See, I had a launch star already for you, but a meteor smashed it up. You can't leave without it, so find all the star chips to fix it. Oh, and be sure not to fall in the black hole. Believe me, there is no black hole big enough for me to fall into. We got ourselves a one-up, and let's go ahead and collect these little- What the heck? All right, I guess there is gonna be big, shiny, hurting, rocky things, meteors that are gonna put damage on us, and it doesn't look like we wanna be falling down into that, or we're gonna get hurt, but we got all five of them. And that was very, very easy. That actually didn't give us too much trouble. I know this game is gonna get a lot more complicated as we go, uh, so I'm gonna be very excited to be taking on those challenges. Let's go ahead and head on to this machine-looking planet now. What the heck is going on? Get me out of here! One of those enemies should have the key. Okay, so they can they can also kill enemies. That's good. Good for me to know this. Well, who, who's the one that has it? You know what? Who's mean enough to be capturing these Luma-looking things? You shouldn't be capturing these pretty-looking stars, or uh, you're gonna be in some trouble here with that Rosalina lady. She seems to be quite mean. Give me some of these coins! Holy crap, I'm getting a lot of damage. Um, it must be this one, I'm guessing, that has it. We probably have to kill all of them. And there we go! Got ourselves a key! Very nice! Thanks! Would you mind rescuing my buddy in that base up there too? I'll transform into a sling star. Just jump into me. Uh, you know what? When someone tells you to jump into them, you're not gonna say no. Let's go ahead and do that, and let's jump into this next looking planet. I guess there's a lot of them boxed in. Who's doing this? Spin enemies, then run into them when they're stunned to boot them. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that one of these enemies also has a key waiting for us to- Oh my gosh! It's a big Goomba! Kick its butt! Go Mario! Stun it! Hit it! Hit it! Bang it! Hit it! Crash it! Somehow managed to hit it. And there we go. Got ourselves this other Luma. There's a lot of these little things. I wonder why there's so many of these little guys. Let's go ahead and talk to them though because they each seem to be doing something special for us. Hurry! Down here! We've been waiting for you! What the heck is that? That's a grand star! We have to save it! Alright, looks like we're gonna have to save it from this weird spinning thing. They're using the Grand Star to power that awful machine. It looks like it's making something. Looks like ice cream or yogurt to me. We have to do something before the Grand Star's power is drained. Quick, find a way to stop that terrible machine! How do you stop an ice cream machine? You turn off the power so it all melts. But here it looks like we're gonna have to step on some switches. Nope, get off me Goomba. In order for us to shut it down. I figure that, Luma. Don't you see the switches changing color? Is that it? Did I do this correctly? Oh, okay, there's other switches around here too. I guess I didn't see all of them since I was so busy looking into that gelato. There's another one. Okay, and that should be it. No, how many? Okay, there's gotta be some sideways then. Yes, this game is gonna be a lot trickier than anything we have played before. It seems like we're already gonna be getting into some trouble with this game uh, because I'm not used to this weird uh, dynamic of being able to run around a whole screen. I'm so used to just staying on a platform that this is gonna be very confusing for me. There we go, we melted the ice cream and we got ourselves a very shiny looking thing. I bet we could sell this for a good amount of bucks to those Goombas. Bet they'd be more than happy to give us some cash for it. And let's go ahead and collect it and we got ourselves our first Grand Star. Fantastic. Grand Star. So there we go, it seems like we've discovered a new galaxy now that we got ourselves the Grand Star, and it is the Terrace! Very, very cool! 
The beacon is lit again. It shines weakly, maybe only as bright as a class 6 star, but at least the poor Lumas will survive now. Oh, thank you for saving the Grand Star. These star people are my family. They mean so much to me. <laughs> Welcome to the Comet Observatory. It's my home and also home to the Lumas. You see, we travel the starry skies. We pass by this area once every 100 years, but we suddenly stopped in front of this planet. A strange force had latched onto our ship, pulling away star bits and our power source, Power Stars. Our ship had lost power, so it entered a deep hibernation state in which it could not move. Those who took your special one picked up the Power Stars and discovered the power to cross the universe. Please. Please, I have a request. This observatory uses star power to project images of the galaxies that are scattered across space. And there is a chance we can use our few remaining stars to look for our oh. other power stars. These round rooms are called domes. We observe galaxies from domes such as these. But the only one that is working now, powered by the star power you restored, is this one. The Terrace. Please go to the Terrace and try to recover the power stars from the galaxies you can see from there. If we do that, we'll be able to restore the Comet Observatory's ability to fly like a starship. Then perhaps we can pursue the thieves who ran off with the power stars. So we're going to go ahead and save our game because we have been given our mission by Rosalina. It seems that we are going to make our way to the terrace and that is where our adventure will truly begin. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any tips on the levels coming up, be sure to give them to me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.